Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about low frequency absorption. My favorite topic, as you all well know, because our technology is quite wonderful. I hate to brag, but it is very good, very powerful technology. Um, per square foot, you just can't beat it in terms of rate and level of performance. But let's back up a little bit, talk about low frequency management within our rooms. You, the bottom line here is you need a lot of it. I mean, I don't want to pull any punches. We got to have a lot of it, even with our technology, which is very powerful, the most powerful technology created. So the bottom line here is with low frequency management, you have to reach what we call a critical mass, meaning you have to have so much square footage in the room before you really have an audible impact on the source material you're putting in the room. So the bottom line here is that we have to reach a certain amount of coverage in the room on the spaces that we're dealing with. So if it's front wall, if it's rear wall, if it's side wall, if it's ceiling, it's floor, we have to cover so much of that space with low frequency energy to have a really good impact on the frequency response curve. So what kind of impact can we get? Well, we know in our technology for every 10 square feet, we get 2 dB attenuation. So if you have a 20 dB problem, we're going to need do the math, what's it going to be? 100 square feet, something like that. So the bottom line is we have predictable and consistent performance in our technology, and we can help you get close to solving those low frequency problems, issues. What's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal in room acoustics is to get the response curve below 100, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and then you can EQ that. You can't EQ plus 20. So the goal here is to manage the energy, not completely eliminate it. Manage it and bring those peaks down to a workable level so that we can apply signal processing through EQ and manage them more without those audible artifacts. I mean, if you're an engineer and you can't hear a plus 20 dB EQ uh, nightmare, then you know you probably need to find another profession because the bottom line here is those kind of processing programs, EQ programs, they don't work really well when, when the uh, peaks are that great on the low side. So rate and level of absorption are critical. Type, amount, and position of low frequency energy are, are important. And remember, we have to have so much in there before we even start to hear what we're up against. So there's that critical mass uh, that we have to achieve. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.